T1 or R3? Let's just do R3. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this game until I hit a wall. Eh, ish. I don't know. It, it's one of those where I'm not necessarily bored of it, but the mechanics aren't being... Oh, God. Uh, the mechanics aren't being introduced to the game as fast anymore. And that's a bit of a downer. Hmm. So they're coming from here. It'd be really nice if you could actually see the current, like, paths. Is that an option? Because I know some I know some games do this. Wander, you don't hit the wall, you make the wall. No, I make a maze. Walling itself is impossible. Hover over the little balls. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's dirty. So they take the blue path, obviously. So currently, they're going to go here. Here. Which, honestly, not a big deal. These gems are boring. I'm not immediately a fan. Oh. Pointlessly expensive. So right click to un unselect the target. That's useful. I'm gonna wait until I have a little bit more money. Bad. Okay. So let's restart that battle. Let's think about how we want to do this. Because ideally, if I could break the barricade sooner than later, that'd be lovely. The problem is the swarmers get through, and then it's kind of a meh. I guess I could just put all my dudes here and just have them loop through this. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just go absolute... Bare minimum defense. Preemptively put that there, just because. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have them work these for a bit. Probably remember to put my defenses there. And not forget to actually unselect. Uh, I'm not used to playing at this speed. There we go. Okay, we can't hit that one yet, but that's okay because we can make them go around at the very least. 
do we? Because we actually want them to go this way. Hmm. Okay, let's get that amplifier and... Plunk that there. So we're going to have to upgrade this a couple of times before we can get another. Or I could get another tower and move it up just, just a smidge. I'm just going to let that one go to town on that. These other, these other two should be good enough, at least for a little bit. Okay, there we go. So what we can do with this... Is now that they at least have to loop through this entire situation. It's not the greatest. But it'll do for just sheer raw power, at least for now. I would have loved to get it, like, so my towers were maybe over here-ish, or somewhere so you could actually get them in, in three different spots. But that looks like that be a bit tough. Maybe eventually I'll... I, I don't know. I'm really curious what the skill book has to offer. I, I really... I wish we had more... more skills immediately available like right from the start oh boy that's a lot of little little ones getting through oh Okay, there we go. That'll make the maze at least a little bit further. Yeah, that seems to work. Okay, let's let's just upgrade all of these to level 4. I'm not actually sure which is worse. I guess they're not really getting through in any large value. Okay. And we're good. We do have the big guys going through, but they're very slow. So I don't think we really need to worry about it that much. We... And yeah, seeing as these guys are particularly beefy, might as well just double down to one very, very big gem. And just wreck through everything. And we will be good. Uh, can I upgrade it? I can upgrade this. Hey! Not that it helps too much. This this thing's beefy enough. We're good. Alright, so... Hey! I didn't know monster eggs exist. I thought monsters were created by wizards, but it seems they can also reproduce on their own now. Wizards have not simply lost control over monsters. The situation is much more frightening. Wizard level goes into initial EXP and mana. What does that necessarily mean? Because I actually am really curious about that. Oh, talisman initial XP bonus. Huh. That doesn't sound particularly amazing. Because, yeah... That's only like 50 EXP? Oh. Initial mana replenish rate. You can upgrade that. I guess it makes sense that you can upgrade that. Okay, do we just plunk this down? I guess we might as well. It's not great. But I'm not really using it for anything else anyway. Okay, locked wizard stash in endurance mode. Rinse repeats until we've, I don't know, unlocked everything. Yeah, I guess a percent multiplier to EXP gain wouldn't be terrible. Uh, 
Okay. So, no monster eggs. Then we're just going to make them loop back up through this area. really still wish there was an undo button just for those slight misclicks on towers I'm a bit of a klutz when putting things down okay can that can that hit the it can okay perfect Yeah, so I'm just going to let that slowly plink away at the shields. Yeah, it's not necessarily the best little loop here. But if we can get into that wizard stash, we're all good. That's honestly, I'm just going to move this over here. There we go. Twice as fast. And we have a ghost. And a... Couple of escapees. Okay, can I dupe that? Yep. That's not what I meant to do. So that's pure orange. We probably want to start investing in better than T3, though. Actually, I should probably upgrade that more than anything else. What's the armor we're looking at? Yeah, 21. 21's getting a bit high. hurts. I don't really know. I think we're going to lose here. I think we're going to have to come back and get this wizard stash later. Because that's okay, but that's not great. Maybe if I didn't screw up initially... How many skill points do I have? I don't have that much. I'm really hoping to get some more skill books. I guess the question is, are wizard stashes and skill books marked differently? Because if they're marked differently, then I can actually find them. Uh, sooner than later? I, I don't know. I, I want more skill books, because those are like... Th those are obviously going to be my primary progression system. Jeez... Oh, squarish icon tiles. Hey, that's actually helpful to know. So we have a wizard stash. This kind of sucks. So block that off. Have them snake here while things just blast them? That thing has a shit ton of HP. Seems like I want to shoot it sooner. We also have pylons, which are good. And we do actually have baseline towers and stuff.
I don't really know. Because, uh, yeah, we got to figure out how to maze them. Unfortunately, this has to be blocked off no matter what. Because that's way, way too easy of a shortcut. I could potentially have them maze back and forth through this like a bunch of times. That sucks as well. And I'd like to have these guys come here, go down through here, and then back up and around. But we just do not have enough space for that. My walls are just too thin. This really makes me want to play Sanctum again. I uh, At some point I'll get, get shell for that. Hmm. Well, how do we do it? I guess let's just block this off. This... This is whatever. that there. This might need an upgrade. Hopefully it can hit. It can't. I am unconvinced that this is a good strategy. Uh, let's see. Any better than this. Okay, uh... Restart battle. I know we have those pre-built towers, but I don't think they're really what I'm looking for here. There we go. At the very least, this will hit the pylons. The question is, do the pylons hit wizard stashes? I highly doubt it. I also doubt that it'll ever get, get to that point. Okay. Do I have these guys maze? Yeah, I'm just going to have these guys maze. We're going to just plonk that there. I'm just going to have it mainly hit the structure. It should kill it eventually. E okay, good to go. Just got to upgrade when I get the chance. There we go. So yeah, using Bolt to actually insta-ready my towers is not a bad idea. Okay, how's that going? It's act it's it's going well enough. I guess I could have actually zigzagged that more. But my defense isn't even gonna be able to shoot at them throughout that entire setup anyway. I'm just going to have to effectively focus fire here and kind of just rely on the pylons to blast things. I 
Okay, question is... Yeah, let's get... Let's get another one of these. Yeesh. Yeah, those little guys are an issue. We just don't quite have enough. move that over here. Give it a little bit more time to shoot. A hey, and wizard stash is open. And we got a skill tome. Was this one of the square ones? I actually, I don't know. Well, one way or another, this worked. This worked well. well let's just let the pylons go completely. Bammo. Oh, this one only shoots in uh, two directions. Oh, well, that's fine. I probably should have used that a little bit more than I did. But it's okay. Keep busting the structure up. Oh, I see. I can't actually bust it up any further. I have to wait until the next one. Okay, so 3,000 EXP, so we get Activate Shrine while raining, Damage of Flying Creatures, Resonance Skill Tome. Was this a square one? No, this was not a square. That's a square one. What the hell? All right. All damage of Flying Ones. I guess this one is probably worth upgrading. Just, just that one time to get the extra 7% EXP. Okay, let's take a look at skills. We have gem dam gem damage. That's good. That's really good. Let's see, yeah, it's probably good enough. Okay. I might honestly do some off-camera grinding with this game just because it's easy to... What the shit? Alright. Five skills. Green-Eyed Ninja. Entering the Wilderness. Controlled from inside the Spirit Forge. So how do we do this without absolutely bankrupting myself? My assumption is freaking tight mazing what I'm probably going to want to do is actually just have it zigzagging back and forth here more than anything else Do not have enough mana. Okay. Wasted too much too early. I, I like the idea of what I'm going with. I just got a skimp harder. Good maze where the monsters spawn. They spawn everywhere. That's a bad idea.
if I could remove these, we'd be good. No, oh, why didn't I just put an amplifier down? Right, whatever. Can't you dupe the others? Still expensive. Also, not entirely confident that they'd actually be that amazing. that one before they get too close okay now I've got a heavy hitter which is what we need so honestly I should have I should have started with the towers as the initial layer of the wall. But that's okay. Now I can at least have them just maze around these two constantly. Uh, speaking of, this is something I should have done a while ago. Probably should have done this a long time ago. Uh, but then again, it wouldn't, wouldn't have helped that much, because there's no real, like, easy entrance that I can rely on here. Uh, let's see. For the pure green gem. Yeah, this is this is working pretty dang well though. I'm just going to have them go through stupid maze. Probably keep upgrading upgrading these just so these two crit gems can just wail on things. I'm not necessarily convinced. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. This is the end of it. Doing this in endurance mode is terrifying. I'll probably have to. You try it in trial mode, it will not disappoint. Ah, that's scary. I've reached the walls of the city that stands between the Spirit Forge and me, the war torn remains of a city that is. Even though I saw many things while being frozen, I don't know what lies within and beyond. I will have to watch my every step if I want to get through here. More map. Okay. Trial mode. Sure. Let's try it in trial mode. Oh. Thank. Yeah, that works. Hmm.
It's a lot of... Oh, can I... Can I even upgrade these? No, I can't even upgrade these. Oh, the Spirit Forge will upgrade them. Really? Well, I guess I'm just gonna hang out and let this do its thing. Humorously enough, this is actually the first trial mode that I'm I'm doing on this on this save file. are so expensive. That's fine. Oh yeah, they did get upgraded. Well, that certainly makes my life a little bit easier. Let's see, how many of these? Oh god, there's a lot of waves. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Yeah, control controlled inside the Spirit Forge. I wonder if that's going to be normal. Or if it's just kind of like this area and maybe some other very specific zones. Woo, pricey. That's okay. I guess I should probably be a little bit scared here and just maybe bank my mana. Yeah, let's just bank mana in case any of them reach the end. Just in case. Because, yeah, I could do more walling, but I, I think it's only going to help so much. Yeah. Only gonna help so much. I'm gonna make these chunkers walk the long way, though. That might have backfired. Oh, well. Build 60 walls. I can do that. In good convenience. Long crawl. Win a battle using only slowing gems. Only tearing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's convenient. Because I never used a single gem, I got all those achievements. Hell yeah. Only got three skill points from that, though. But that's fine. Alright, so no new skill books. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna try this in endurance mode too. And we'll figure it out. Let's see. About a thousand starting mana has so far been fairly useful for me. So let's take a look at this. Oh, that's going to take a while to get through. to move to restart this I have an idea I think that I think that's gonna work a bit better Single 
them down, but that's okay. Probably want to switch those around. Okay. So might as well grab that. Okay. Gonna need to get to that, but I gotta get I gotta get the wall down first. I I gotta get my I gotta get my defenses up before I want to mess with too much. Oh, we got a wraith coming through and some biggins. Okay. The Wraith, maybe? Uh, maybe the pylon will shoot it. Got it! Wow! That's a windfall! If I was insane, I'd try and, like, run the wall all the way down to these. That might be the smart thing to do. But I'm a bit of a po' boy. Okay, at the very least, we'll let them go past that. And I'm gonna have that start plinking away. This is gonna take a while. Let's go back to upgrading these crit gems. Yeah, once this manages to knock out the shields, I guess I could get a second one. They're cheap. Okay. Cheap, but not quite worth it. That'll be a bit better. And then I'm going to work on some of these. Let's see, new to your channel, found you through the stump crew and love the channel. Well, welcome! I'd say tell them I said hi, but I mean, they probably... Ah. Probably know that well enough. Ugh. Getting dicey. My damage isn't quite good enough for these guys. And they're not looping through quite long enough. Okay, there we go. That's how I found Wanderer as well. Wow. Oh. I guess you'll really enjoy the uh, upcoming D&D &D campaign then. So I think next time I do this, I should have a co another... I should plan for a, a tower flower or something. Yeah, add more towers. I could. I think my, my issue with adding more towers, and I, I probably should, is I did not allow myself a whole lot of space for that. And I should have. Because a lot of these guys are just too beefy 